Do you still reel from the emotional roller coaster of the season four finale? Hold on to your ego waffles because we have some news that may make your heart skip a beat. May Maxfield may not be the same innocent girl we once knew. Yes, you heard that right. Some fans even argued that Max was better off dead. For those who can't take the idea of losing her, there is a catch though. Max survived, but what if she woke up from the coma with a dark side? Will she turn evil? Well, it's a huge waffle to take a bite, so buckle up, grab some egos, and join us as we dive deep into the Upside Down to uncover the truth about Max's fate and the future of our favorite Hawkins residents. It's gonna be a wild ride. We're here to help you navigate the treacherous waters of Stranger Things 5. Don't get too excited about Max surviving. She may be evil now. Stranger Things Addicts. Everyone here is well aware of our show's cult status. Well, who wouldn't be? It's no surprise that everyone is on the verge of their seats awaiting season five. With all the creepy creatures, 80s nostalgia, and kick-ass characters, and let's face the truth here, we've all created some pretty crazy speculations about what comes next. Eat your waffles now because we've got a theory that will blow your mind. What if Max's dark side emerges and she becomes the ultimate villain? Can we just think about it? She's been through a lot and she has some serious anger issues. But before we take a deep dive into this juicy lemonade theory, let's take a quick trip review of what happened in the fourth season. This is Vecna. In the heart-pumping season four, our beloved characters face their most formidable foe, Vecna, played by the unforgettable Jamie Campbell Bauer. With the upside down under his control, Vecna proves to be the most menacing villain, leaving the entire town of Hawkins in peril. Our main characters come together in a heroic effort to take down this evil force, and they are joined by the new fan favorite character, Eddie, played by the incredible Joseph Quinn. As the danger escalates, sacrifices are made, alliances are formed, and love is tested. With Eleven, played by the incomparable Millie Bobby Brown, leading the charge, our group creates an insulation tube to enter Max's mind and take down Vecna once and for all. But as they battle, tragedy strikes and the fate of Hawkins hangs in the balance. Will they be able to defeat Vecna and save their town, or will they succumb to the darkness? The stakes have never been higher in this electrifying season. The action is nonstop as Hopper, Joyce, and Murray fight their way through the Russian prison to take down the remaining Demogorgons. At the same time, Steve, Robin, and Nancy unleash their firepower to defeat Vecna's physical form. But even as the dust settles, danger still lurks. With Max in a coma and Will sensing that Vecna is still alive, the town must brace itself for what's to come. And what was to come, you ask? Well, let's see. You won't believe this. Is Eleven the only reason why everything bad happens? This theory is so intriguing that it has us on the edge of our seats waiting for the fifth season. The key to everyone's survival lies in Eleven's ultimate destiny. She must take Vecna's place in the Upside Down and transform it into a heavenly paradise. Her existence on Earth is causing trouble, attracting danger like a powerful magnet. It's impossible for her to have a happy ending with her normal friends as her powers only seem to bring more problems. Every time Eleven uses her powers to fix an issue caused by the Upside Down, a new one emerges from opening the gate to banish number one, closing it and then opening it again, leading to Will's abduction. And her heroic defeat of the Demogorgon and closing of the gate, only for the Mind Flayer and Vecna to come back with a vengeance. Even losing her powers didn't solve the problem, as she had to regain them to defeat Vecna, perpetuating the never-ending cycle. The only solution to this conundrum lies in Eleven's sacrifice. She must take one's place and assume control of the Upside Down, turning it into a magnificent and peaceful realm. Now, we know what you're thinking. Will Eleven have to say goodbye to her friends for this to happen? It's true that the show has a history of killing off beloved characters, but is taking Eleven away from her friends what we really want? Maybe, just maybe, it's time for our favorite sci-fi show to have a happy ending. Let the characters have a bright future among loving friends, even if our world can be cruel and ugly. May the force be with Stranger Things Season 5. Matt and Ross Stuffer, the creators of the hit series Stranger Things, have just dropped some icing on the cake details about the upcoming fifth and final season that will leave us on the very edge of our seats, worrying about our toothache. In their interview with Collider, Matt Duffer compared the final season to the iconic Star Wars movie Return of the Jedi. But don't be fooled, he wasn't talking about the tone of the season. This is full steam ahead. 
After the heart-wrenching finale of Volume 2, the entire town of Hawkins is now under siege, and the gang is facing a daunting task with not just one, but two members down. But the Duffers have promised to bring back some elements from previous seasons to give us one last epic hurrah. Ross Duffer explained to Metro that the way we see Season 5 is kind of a combination of all the seasons, so it's got a little bit from each. I think that what we're trying to do is step back to the beginning, just a little bit, and sort of the tone of Season 1, but also we need to scale wisely. It's more aligned with what Season 4 is, so hopefully it's got a little bit of everything. So now what? Will Max turn to evil in Season 5? What will happen to Max? Is she going to turn evil? Is the massive question on our minds. From what we've seen of her, that makes sense. Max's fate could be far worse than death. She may forget everything about who she is, who her friends are, and her entire life before her heroic battle against Vecna. To make matters worse, Max may even go blind and has a long road to recovery ahead, having broken every bone in her body. Many fans are upset that Max was spared, but the writers of Stranger Things are known for serving up unexpected twists and turns. When Max wakes up in Season 5 and begins to heal, we could very well see a darker and scarier version of her. With her healing comes the possibility of a darker and more frightening Max, one who may be under the control of Vecna. This will lead Max to turn against her friends, and becoming a dangerous puppet looms large. But wait, you don't want to miss this. Sadie Sink, the beautiful actress who brings the character of Max to life, gave a recent interview where she revealed that even she has no idea what the future holds for her character. It's definitely all up in the air right now, and Sadie Sink added that she can't wait to see what the next season brings for Max. When asked about working in her final scenes as Max, Sadie shared, It's going to be awful. It's going to be horrible. Since this is the last season of our Stranger Things, expect it to be like a roller coaster of emotion that will take us to the upside down. Let's talk about who's returning for Stranger Things Season 5. Season 4 left us heartbroken with some of our beloved characters meeting their demise. But don't worry, the next chapter of this sci-fi masterpiece is still jam-packed with notable characters. First up, we have the stars of the show, the kids group. The talented Millie Bobby Brown as Eleven, Finn Wolfhard as Mike Wheeler, Noah Schnapp as Will Byers, Caleb McLaughlin as Lucas Sinclair, Gayton Matarazzo as Dustin Henderson, Sadie Sink as Max Mayfield, and Priya Ferguson as Eric Sinclair. Let's not forget about the excellent babysitter squad, the wise elders of the group. You can expect to see Joe Keery as Steve Harrington, the charming Maya Hawk as Robin Buckley, the fabulous Natalia Dyer as Nancy Wheeler, the brooding Charlie Heaton as Jonathan Byers, and the hilarious Eduardo Franco as Argyle. And last, but certainly not the least, we have the main adults and parents of the group. You won't want to miss the incredible David Harbour as Jim Hopper, the incomparable Winona Ryder as Joyce Byers, the brilliant Brent Gelman as Murray, and the talented Tom Lashisha as Dimitri. The fifth and final season will take a little more time to pop up on our TV screens, but one thing is for sure, Stranger Things will forever be in our hearts. Do you have any opinions or theories on what might happen in season five? Leave your comments below so we can keep the conversation going. Thank you for watching.